welcome to Security Check. This is the final decklist deck profile video we are doing for the 32 deck tournament for the best deck in BT14 slash 2023. Next videos will be the matchup videos. The, the gameplay, yeah, start, gameplay yeah. start, starts in the December 1st and ends on December 31st with the finals. All it, the games will be best of one except semifinals and the finals will be best of three. Help us reach the thousand subscribers before end of the year and we would be really grateful. To the deck lists, uh, we have your pet project here. Yeah. From BT13? BT13, indeed. Then it got nuked. <laughs> <laughs> then it got, like, side nuked by the <laughs> scatter, <Apocalypse. laughs> scatter mode restriction. The couple more restrictions are where whatever, but the scatter mode really hits this deck, even though scatter mode is... Sometimes it's a little bit complicated card for this deck because it adds cards to your hand. Yeah. But also, it's such a good cycle card. Yeah. Like, you get to see so many cards, choose what you discard, so I understand why scatter mode is limited, kinda, but I also kinda don't like it because scatter mode was one of those cards that really enable so many different kind of purple things to do. Yeah, to this do. is one of those uh, things with Bandai that they don't want to uh, restrict a secret rare or super rares yeah. or like... They... The real problem cards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I do understand why they didn't want yeah. to restrict Apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. This is... Uh, Belfamon can't really... Well, it could play the training card, but it's really underwhelming in my opinion. Yeah, you don't... So this is just a, my basic, like, kind of basic Belfamon list, but I choose to go with more, like, put three Dobermons in on place of two Scatter Modes and one Icemon, because it's kind of pointless to play Icemon without many yeah, Scatter Modes. as you said in the uh, Meta Check podcast, it's kind of Shadow Band, <laughs> yeah. because with one Icemon... Yeah, and then I put one Death Axemon here, because there are way more decks that can swarm the field now, yeah. and... Otherwise, I think this is kind of basic Belfamon, and I hope the Dobermons can carry enough to still deck be good, so... The, the uh, Giz Gizuman engine is really good. Yeah. I did have one, like, wild idea about the deck, to, like, use the Dobermons and maybe, like, Mist Memory Boosts, and then play, like, Death Slingers in the Yeah, deck. be more mill deck. Yeah, be more mill deck, but I... I this we, is the same. Yeah, we haven't tested any of the decks, and that deck would have been uh, needed a re or like real test if it yeah. actually could be played that way. But that's an idea I should I could explore at some point. But this is a safe version of the deck. It's basically the old Belfamon, but now with more more Dobermon. Yeah, Rip Scattermon. <laughs> uh, and Belfamon is facing Alphamon. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Alphamon. I think we had this matchup. We have we've had this matchup. This is we, a strange matchup. We have we've had lots of these matchups <laughs> in the channel already, and the, these are kind of random matchups. Yeah, these are like. Not purely random matchups, but like we didn't choose exact pairings. Yeah, it's what it was like. We made kind of a, a like not bracket, but like we kind of tried to tear out the decks and then like put a certain like number numbers yeah, yeah. against each other. It's fun that we say this uh, fact in on the last. <laughs> deck well, well, well. The gameplay starts next video, so yeah, that's true. That's true. So <laughs> we'll see it in the finals. Yeah, but the, <laughs> these matchups are not like. We chose Belfamon against Alphamon. It was it was more like number this against number this. Oh, yeah. they are Belfamon and Alphamon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is kind of standard Alphamon list in my opinion. Uh, Just the added trainings. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of uh, one uh, level four and one level three and one something and one tamer and <laughs> one option and uh, or memory boost and th there you have it. Yeah, it's a new. It's just training and cool boy exploitation. Oh, exploitation. The memory gain. The memory gain. <laughs> and then, and then I laugh when you don't find Alpha Mon or Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had we had one of these games that I played it's and like played and if, played and. Did it's not like find if, it. if Alpha Mon doesn't fi find Oracle. I'm like, does this deck even win? No. <laughs> it's like... in, in my opinion, it does not. Yeah. It, can, it can unsuspend, but then it might be just like 12 or 13k beater that can actually die to the security and... Uh... Yeah, there's no jamming egg. <laughs> Uh, just wait, we'll have a uh, yeah. charming egg for but every... This matchup has been like, Belfamon lost power and Alphamon gained training. So, yeah. 
Alphamon has a chance in this matchup. Uh, I think this is favorable for Alphamon. Yeah. Don't know. Uh, then we have uh, the boogeyman or, or one of the boogeymans in the format. I don't know if it's the, if this is the boogeyman. Uh, I don't know. It, it felt like it uh, when we saw the first gameplays of uh, Yellow Vaccine, but uh, Yellow Vaccine also got hit with Geogramman's limit, so... Also, Yellow Vaccine is a slower deck. Yeah, that's It's true. inherently slower deck. It cannot win game in, like, two turns because of some things. Yeah, and I think that because this is a control deck and slower deck, it needs you to know how it, what you do and why you do, and that might crumble the game for it, because, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a, <laughs> yeah, it's it's an interesting to see if, uh, how good the deck actually is. Yeah, and like we don't have like exact good vaccine lists yet. Yeah, because we started to uh, record these before the format starts. This is still the same day as the first uh, deck list video yeah. uh, that came out like seven videos ago. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting to see, but Yellow Vaccine is here on the other side of the bracket, looking if it can reach all the way to the finals. Yeah, uh, I think it has the chances, but uh, it's ne it needs our brains to work. <laughs> We need both our brain cells. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, but it, it has Venus Mon and Ruin mode, so... Yeah. Uh, but it also has an interesting opponent. Let's yeah. go to that. <laughs> the interesting opponent is Imperial Dramon. <laughs> because Imperial Dramon can go fast. Yeah, and it got support uh, with the uh, movie promotion packs or whatever they are called. Uh, the, it's like promo... promo deck? No, uh, something like that. Some deck that <laughs> you got with BD 13, uh, 14 box. Imperial Dramon Ace. Yeah, it's the new card of the deck and of also the Vimon. For some reason, I didn't put any uh, the new Davises here. Well, it plays you Vimon, but I think you need all of these Davises slash Davis Atkins in the deck more. Uh, it's fun to see a level 6 ace in the game. We once again have a different meta from Japanese uh, BT14 or Japanese meta because we have new cards that they did not have at the time and then uh, we got, have the limitations. I think the Vimon is really good uh, and well Imperial Dramon uh, was the best deck in BT8. Uh, and it's still a good deck, it still can win. So it's, it's also one of those decks that doesn't like super needs the jamming egg because <laughs> most of its stuff that attacks already has jamming. Egg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so we have the BT3 Demi Vimon just because it has altar. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the altar. It, it draws so. your card, right? Yeah, when you swing with jamming, and every of your ex Vimons give you jamming. So if you uh, did Jogress or DNA Digivolution, you will have jamming. And the jamming will help out the Imperial Dramon Ace because uh, the Ace attacks or the overflow is uh, bad sometimes. Or every time you, you have to use it. Might hurt. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, we included two trainings because tra trainings. <laughs> and uh, there is there is more uh, green, uh, I mean, what is that, blue stuff, and yeah. uh, you want to have your tamers. The tamers are really important to you, especially the new Davis and the Davis can. So uh, you just need to be careful with your training so you don't, if, if you need <laughs> green stuff, you don't use them. Yeah. In some, uh, some deck we, <laughs> uh, or yeah, in Gammon there is like more red stuff than here is blue stuff, but uh, then there is so much uh, that's like two color stuff, so uh, it does not show in the pure blue stuff. Yeah. So you can, uh, if you don't have uh, uh, your DNA Digivolution partner there, you can just use the training to go Piledramon for two, and it, it could be also good. Yes. 
and yeah. Uh, I don't know if this deck has any chances to win. It's fast deck, so it could... But every deck that can go fast at times could, yeah. be, could like surprise some decks. Yeah. And Vaccine is a slower deck, so it might have some problems if it if it draws like like especially like slow hand. Yeah, if you uh, win before Venus Mom comes <laughs> to the field, <laughs> it's fine. But if you don't, that you might don't. Be a, that might be a problem. Yeah. But this was the final deck of the <laughs> 32 decks that we will have in this channel uh, yeah. starting 1st of the December. I don't know when this video comes out, so uh, <laughs> yeah. We are finally done and yeah. I hope you enjoyed these 8 uh, decklist videos. I hope you have some decks you want to try and if you really want some deck to do better than others, leave a comment uh, <laughs> for your favorite deck and uh, tell us which deck you think will yeah, we win. win this uh, tournament. I'm interested to see your takes because yeah. I think the winner will in the end be either like Fenriloga, Shine Greymon or some Greymon pile. Yeah, but yeah, Fen Fenriloga and Shine Greymon will face up if they... Uh, so, so the mat final matchup won't be Fenri versus Shine. Yeah, they are on the same side of the brackets. Yeah. And... Uh, they will face at earliest in the semifinals. I yeah. Think. And to be uh, exact, uh, this is not uh, pre-written. <laughs> anything. Every matchup will be just best of one and we will play the game uh, and we only will take one video of it. So if uh, if someone breaks, yeah, they break. <laughs> yeah, if War Raymond breaks against Mastermon, that's it. <laughs> and <laughs> that's that's how it will be. That's how the play the game goes. Of course, the best of ones gives less leeway for like yeah. bad hands, but it's the, it's a time constraint, but yeah, maybe if, maybe if, next if, year we yeah. will have all best of three videos. If you get to like semifinals and to the best of threes, then you probably are a good deck, and then you will have more time. Like you have the one game like leeway to just yeah perform well. So if the decks get to the best of three portion, there they will be probably good decks, and they will show how good they are. Yeah. Or how bad we are at playing the game. No, that sounds true. Yeah. But remember to like and subscribe. Help us uh, to reach the 1000 subscribers before end of the year. And we will see you at the next video. Bye! Bye.